On a previous video of Writing Done Right, we noticed there were gutter margins, which I actually hadn't seen before. And so I wanted to go ahead and do an investigation as to where those came from and talk about how to use gutter margins and why you might want to in producing your book. Welcome back to Writing Done Right. I'm Thomas Morosky, an author and a technology consultant. And today we do want to talk about gutter margins, what they are, where they came from, and things like that. So uh, to understand, uh, first and foremost, why did I miss gutter margins uh, in LibreOffice? A lot of the reason is on my production computers, sometimes I will hold them back because they are very narrow focused. So I think my writing computer might still be on 6.4. Uh, it might be have jumped up to a 7172. I did push some updates on that recently. But uh, also, depending on, on which operating system you're using, I'll use Linux Mint. And on my main production computers, I won't move to the next version of Linux Mint for quite a while after I've done some sufficient testing. So Linux Mint was holding the versions back a little bit as well. And then, of course, I haven't done a whole lot of new creating of page styles. I'm still using some of the old page styles that I have created in the past. So I didn't notice, but I think it was 7.2 is when gutter margins were first introduced. And it was a while before any information about them came out. Now, you will notice that the numbering convention changed from 7.6 up to 24.2, 24.8, 25.2. What's going on with that? Well, that's actually just moving the releases tied to the year. So they're releasing uh, the latest version of LibreOffice is released in February of 2025 previous one was in August of 2024, etc. So that's why the, the numbering convention there has changed. So if you're using Windows or Mac and you're auto-updating everything, you probably are always on the latest version. If you are using Linux, you're going to be on whatever the core base version it is. I did just check the version we're using right here. Uh, because I did just upgrade this system to the absolute latest Linux Mint. I tested it just long enough to see it worked, and uh, I wanted to do that. And so you will see we are on the 24.2. Um, and so it's not the absolute latest version, but it is a fairly new version of LibreOffice. So around 7.2, though, which uh, came out around 2021 or so, they introduced gutter margins, but a lot of people in the forums recognized it but hadn't seen it inside of the documentation. Now, this is actually in here. Here's the help guide for 25.2. Here's your margin sections and gutter. It defines it as the amount of space to leave between the left edge and of the page and the left margin. If you're using a mirrored page layout, enter the amount of space to leave between the inner page and the margin and the inner page of the page. So that is what they say. Now let's go ahead and have a look at one of these style creation guides. This is from Ingram Spark. Now they call this inside margin and margins. The inside margin is the gutter. And so you'll see this is kind of their page layout. And you'll see here this red dotted line is the outside margins. And this bigger one, this dashed line is the inside margin. So they say is the inside margin, they say a minimum of one inch and the margins minimum of half an inch on the other outer three edges. So what this is, is where the book is bound together. So if you grab a random book and open it up, you'll notice that the pages are a little bit longer than the part you actually see because there's a chunk of it in this instance, about half an inch that is glued together in the binding to keep the book together. That obviously makes sense. So when you open the book up from where the crease is, where the pages are together, basically the viewable spot should look balanced. And so this is where doing your professional editing makes your book look really professional. If you're using the exact same margins and then you glue it all in, it looks like the margins on the outside are way bigger than the margins on the inside because you haven't accounted for that inside margin. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I've done this in the past and how our previous videos before gutter margins were introduced uh, accomplished this. And I'm going to talk about why this gutter margin system is actually a little bit of a better case. And I'm going to show you why and how that works. So this is our book. Um, I am not amused. And so uh, we have up here, we have everything 
up here is just your basic uh, uh, default style page on the acknowledgments. This, I think, is also default. The introduction, I think, is default. And so what what we did on this is I adjusted the margins so that I always accounted for it. But there is, if you look at the book, there will be that fairly unprofessional gap. It's not super noticeable the way I did it here. And it's only on a few pages with text. Typically, like this page here, there's no text. It doesn't matter what the margins are because there's no text. Uh, so what I would probably do going forward is create a blank style for just anything. Or we can just use what we are going to show you today, setting the default page style. Now, this is a chapter title page. And the chapter title pages, to show you what the uh, margins look like, you'll see that the left margin is 0.6. The right margin is 0.5. So the left side, because a chapter title in this style of book is always on a right page, so the margins are set as a right page. You'll notice here that the gutter is zero. So what this would allow us to do now is to keep these margins all the same and then just put your gutter margin up at what it should be. So you'd do something more like this. And then what would happen is it knows because this is a right left page layout. In fact, right here, it says right and left. What I would do is change this to only right here. And this way the gutter knows only on right puts the extra margin on the left side of the page. Whereas only right puts the margin on the left side of the page, excuse me, only left puts the margin on the right side of the page and then mirrored the system automatically knows the first page of this book is on the right. The left page of the, the next page is on the left. And so when you're using mirrored, it will automatically know where to put the gutter margins in. So you do not have to mess with the gutter margins any, or with the, uh, having the differences in the left and the right, these can all now be uniform and the gutter is easily defined. This allows you to very easily look at a style guide and make those decisions. So in this instance here, because of the size, the paper, things like this, this particular printer says, uh, it's one inch on the inner and it's half inch everywhere else. Well, that tells you the gutter margin is half that difference, the difference, right? So it's 0.5 inch. So I would come into here, not my simple screen recorder, I would come into here. And what I would do then is I would say these are half, half, and then I want the gutter adjusted for its own half. And so that will very blatantly show us what the size is. So you'll see here that that moved through the margin down on this side. Okay. So the next style then would go down into our chapter title page is always followed by a left. And so looking at what these styles are, you'll see that this one here now has that gutter on the right. So let's go ahead and do the similar thing. We'll adjust our gutter up just to the style guide. Of course, I wouldn't do this for a real book. I would look make a little bit more better decisions. And now, though, you'll see that uh, this page uh, only left, gutter position left. And we need to move this one around here like this. So gutter is on the right side of the page for a left page. Okay. So then a right page, likewise, we're going to do the opposite thing. So let's go ahead and set that back down where that is. Move this back up to half on the gutter margin. Hit apply. And that now should give us each other page like this. So now we can do the adjustments. Of course, my side columns got thrown all over because of changing the margins around, but that's okay. We're not here to show you how to do the side columns. We have a separate video for that. But you can see here that it will now adjust the entire book accordingly with the guttermers. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this from a scratch, uh, from scratch here. So we're going to go ahead and start in with a new document. Um, and I'm actually going to save this one without saving it so I don't accidentally goof something up. And this is that lorem ipsum generator. I'm just going to generate 20 paragraphs, uh, generate that and copy 20 paragraphs of gibberish text and paste it in. That should give us a few pages of text. There you go. All right. So now we have, uh, we have some pages. Let me go ahead and do one more. We'll, we'll paste that in one more time there. There we go. Now we have five pages of text. 
All right, so let's go ahead and first let's make some adjustments here. Let's go back up to our styles. So remember, Alt-2 will get you to your styles. And then we're going to go to Page Styles, the fourth menu in my instance. And then over here, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and set our... Actually, the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and set this to Body Text. And I do want to change body text just so we can see better. I'm going to change the uh, indents or uh, let's see, not the indents, alignment over to justified. And that way all our text is justified. So now we can see a little bit better what that looks like. All right. Not sure why I put that little space in there each instance there, but oh, well, we'll deal with that. Okay, so now it's justified. We can easily see what the margins look like on either side. So let's go back to our page styles. So now what we're going to do is on our default page style, let's suppose you want to adjust for gutter margins. Let's go ahead and edit the style. So let's go ahead and start and say we're going to adjust this as a book. So let's make this book a 5.5 by 8.5. So we're going to adjust the height and the width. And now we're going to do that. And now we have a nice formatted book. You can see now we have 13 pages, but now our margins are exactly the same. So what you can do now is instead of messing with all the different page layouts, assuming you don't care if chapter titles are on the same page or things like this, you can now do everything from just the default page style because of the gutter margins. So let's go ahead and make the adjustments to here. Like that style guide said, let's change these margins to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then we're going to do our gutter also on 0 0.5 and hit apply. Now, what you'll notice though is we do this. Let's hit OK. Uh, you'll notice though that all of the margins are all the same way, and that's not good, is it? Now, the first one always starts on the right side because that first page of the book is always on the right side. So there's one more adjustment you need to do, and that is down here. Uh, pull up your uh, page style and on the same place you add your margins. Now you want to do your page layout. You'll see this says right and left. What we want to do is change this to mirrored. So hit apply. And now the system is smart enough to know that the first page is going to be on the right. So it gives us the gutter margin on the left. And then the next page is going to be a left, so it gives us the gutter margin on the right. Now, is this how I would format an entire book? No, I would not. I would still make use of the left page and the right page because it allows us to do things like put the page numbers on the proper side. Like, I say proper side, but I like generally for my nonfiction putting my page numbers on the outer margin in the footer. So I can do that by using the left and the right pages. But this allows me to go back into our original book and set the default style mirrored margins. So now I do not have, even on those very few pages of text where I'm using that default page style, I can actually have the margins always come out right. So this is an incredible improvement by LibreOffice. I don't know how I missed it for as long as I did. Uh, maybe I just never noticed it, or maybe I was like, oh, too busy to think about it, so I completely forgot about it. But there is how you can use your gutter margins. Once again, you can apply those to, uh, to your left pages. If you do the left pages, just make sure that you adjust everything accordingly. On the left pages, put the gutter on the right side. That seems to be what you need to do. Let's go ahead and test that theory as well for us. Let's put some applications of previous videos into effect here. So we're going to do that. We're going to apply. We're not going to make any adjustments yet because, of course, if you follow this channel enough, you know we need to add in a some type of break. So default style, default style. Okay, right about here, we're going to put a page break, and we're going to insert a more break, do a manual break, and then we're going to do a page style left page and push OK. Now, of course, we didn't adjust the left page properly. Let's see. This is a right, or this is a right. This is a left. We're going to leave this one blank. So this one should be our left page. So let's go ahead and into our left page. The other thing I didn't do is set our page size correctly. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit Apply. And then, of course, we'll need to do the same for the right page because every left page is accompanied by a right page. So we'll do that as well, 5.5, 8.5, 8 8.5, I do have to hit that 0 0.5, don't I? 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, apply. Hit OK. And so now here's our right page, default style. 
Here's our left page. This is a blank right page. Now we go into a left page, our right page, and let's go ahead and have a look at that margin style there. It looks like we need to make an adjustment. Uh, gutter position, right side, apply. Okay. So we just had to adjust the right page one to do that adjustment. Okay, so now the margin, this is a, oh, you know what? We, you, if you just caught, caught the error, whoops, we caught the error there. This one here should be on the right. So edit this style. That one should be the right. And this one should be the left, like that. Okay. So now, margin on the left side, margin on the right side. This would be margin on the left side, margin now on the right side, margin on the left side. But now we're into our right, left page adjustment. So if we add our headers down here or our footers down here, we can go into this. Let's do add footer. We're going to insert a page number and we're going to do alignment uh, left. Okay. And now we'll come down to a right page. We're going to insert another page number on the right page now. And we're going to align this to the right. So now we have alternating page numbers. But of course, from our previous video, talk about how do we reset the page numbers. Let's say I want my page number here to start with number one. Now our cursor is still in the footer down here. You want to move into the main body of the text. If you try and edit this while you're still in the header text, you'll see that you can't adjust the page numbers. So just click to the page you want to start with. Make sure you're on the page layout. We're going to right click where this blue line is. That's our page break. We're going to edit the page break and we're going to restart the page number. I think we want to restart it with one, but it might be zero. Let's have a look. Set, reset it with one. So now we have our default style with a gutter margin. Still default style with a gutter margin on the proper side. This one's blank. And then our um, this one here, let's see, did I do, do that right? Yep. This one here is a starting with a left page. Resets at page number one, page number two, page number three, page number four, etc. So now you can go back down through and have your gutter margins working properly. And that is how to use gutter margins. So just a, a brief summary, under your edit page style, you have your gutter margins. You have to have it set as either mirrored, which will automatically put the gutter on, the, on both sides. Remember the default is right and left, which will put the gutter on the same page every time. If you're using the same style for a right or a left page, like the default page style, you have to change this to mirrored if you're using the gutter. On the left hand and the right hand pages, you wanna make the adjustments and say only a right page, only a left page, and then you will have to toggle this based on it. Typically the left page is going to have this unchecked and the right page is gonna have this checked. And that allows you to use your gutter margins. That way you should bring some clarity to how to use those style guides. So hopefully this video helped you in understanding how the gutter margins work in LibreOffice Writer, a free application. And if you have not had a chance to play around with that, have a look at my introductory video, which I will leave right here on the screen. Thanks for watching and hope that we have helped you to get your writing 